This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a Spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. Unless you can demonstrate to me that we are helpless without her. I see no reason why I should stand down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? And when you say special fertilizer, you mean what exactly? Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's, come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. You're right, I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Look at that. The snakes come back. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling.
Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a Captain. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply. What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. 
But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. You got a sec? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. That's not the point. This hat would just knock down one of my weapons. Customs and... Identification, please. Captain... Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. All right. Be seeing you. weird signal the other day. from Monarch. Here we go again. 
No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind... Gonna head to Vera. If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. You must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a... A game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. What? Indeed. And you know where he is? Excelsior! Oh, and there we are. I've removed the lock on your ship in a show of my gratitude. An apprehension of this caliber will be tremendous for my career. I'll send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, only... Oh, la. Oh, no. Just a teensy one. The teensiest. Nothing to, uh, lie awake worrying about for nights on end or anything. <laughs> the thing is... I needed money. A lot of money. Quickly, for reasons. I might have... pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. I'll thank you not to question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board.
That's the long and short of it, yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain Gladys can be made... Well, can probably be made to see reason. <laughs> I'll be waiting eagerly for your return. Now, is there any way in which I might assist you? Is it Mr. Wells, the fellow who woke you? How bad could he be? my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Depends. What are you planning to do with it? You got a good heart, wanting to do this for him. Frankly, I'm tired of Udom's whining. Don't kill me, please. And I'll pay, I swear. The man's been messaging me four, five times a day. How's a woman supposed to read her new missives when her incoming folder's all cluttered? If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the fall.
Have you seen this man? Reward offers for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Are those XF-411s? And an old Yakita 3 sip? Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships. Miss Junlei, a uh, uh, chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um. Okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe. I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Anywhere. You can't get me out of there. Please don't Dr. Fenhill. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed.
Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Hey, you got a second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. 